this video, we're gonna get into how you can skyrocket your energy so you have the energy in the own for the 15 year old you. Now, the way to have the energy of a younger you is to biohack your mitochondria. Your mitochondria are the source of your energy. They're what produce energy in your body. They're, what, they're called the battery or the powerhouse of your cell. Now, if we were able to hack that, then we would find a way to increase our energy levels. And that's exactly what we're gonna do in this video. In this video, we're gonna get into the top three biohacks to upgrade your mitochondria. Now, I asked you guys on Instagram, and most of you were fine with paying a little bit more to get an even better biohack. However, in this video, I have an amazing biohack that's super affordable, and it's super effective. So let's get into the top three ways to skyrocket your energy. So the story goes like this. Billions of years ago, our very early ancestors ate mitochondria, this bacteria. And they realized that if this bacteria sticks around in their cell, then that cell will live longer. And so the species or the organisms that use the mitochondria and binded with them evolved and lived longer. And here we are today, and this is why mammals and, and most beings on Earth use mitochondria to produce their energy. The reason the mitochondria were so crucial for evolution is because oxygen used to be a toxin. But the mitochondria found a way to turn this toxin, oxygen, into an energy source. And this is why oxygen is essential for us and most life on Earth today. Mitochondria, because they're bacteria, they actually communicate with one another via light. So the light that you expose your skin and your mitochondria to has tremendous effects on their reaction. For example, and this brings us into point one, avoid blue light. What blue light does is blue light stresses out the mitochondria because it thinks it's under attack and it enters cell defense mode. Now, cell defense mode is this, the mitochondria's defense mechanism. When it gets into this mode, it produces just barely enough energy to stay alive. And this is okay once in a while, but if it's constantly stressed out like this, what happens is it's gonna lead to a shrinking and weaker mitochondria over time, which could lead to some issues as you age. But another issue with this is once your energy uh, production drops, then your mammal brain gets less energy. And because you have three brains, and I'll explain that later. But your mammal brain, when it gets less energy, it starts to freak out, it releases the, it activates the fight or flight mode, which means you get stressed, you have mood swings, it's harder to perform, and your human brain gets less energy because you have three brains. Your reptilian brain, which gets energy first because without it, you're gonna die. So you need energy to that brain first. And then there's the mammal brain, which is responsible for fight or, fight or flight, so it's keeping you alive. And it's like the mammal brain, so like dogs have this brain. And then there's the human brain, the prefrontal cortex right over here. And that is where we do all our high level thinking and all the stuff that make us human. And that gets energy last. So if you don't have enough energy, that brain is not gonna have enough energy and good luck performing at your peak. You're gonna be stressed out and it leads to a whole ton of issues over the long run. So people say, oh, just relax, take a deep breath, don't feel stressed. Well, if you're constantly freaking out your mitochondria, getting them into cell defense mode, then you can do all the meditation you want. You're gonna feel stressed. You have to address the root cause. All right, now let's get into hack number two, and this is where we get into the good stuff. This is where we get into, really, how to upgrade your mitochondria. And it's actually the same effect as working out. It's called hormesis. Now, we know stress is generally bad, and blue light stresses out your mitochondria in a bad way. Whereas working out, working out is a different type of stress. When you work out, you're stressing and tearing your muscles. That part of working out isn't actually good. What happens is then the way your body compensates and rebuilds the muscles, that's where all the benefits lies. And that's why working out is actually so good because of the way your body reacts to it. It's called hormesis. Like the belief that what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. And there's a specific type of light that does the exact same for mitochondria. It strengthens the mitochondria so they become bigger, they produce more energy, and they're stronger and healthier. And it also kills off the weak mitochondria. Because if you have weak, dying mitochondria in your cells, that's just going to bog you down and you want to get rid of that junk. And creating hormesis in the body is going to help you with that. So what light specifically does this? Well, the answer lies in the sun. It is actually near-infrared light. And near-infrared light is one of the spectrums in the sun. But we can mimic this and really create an amazing healing effect in our own home with this amazing biohack. All right, guys, welcome to my biohacking lounge, my basement. So here is the biohack, and I'll get into this soon, but first, someone is enjoying this right now. Now, near-infrared light not only creates hormesis for your mitochondria, it also is great for detoxification. And we actually converted our far-infrared sauna into a near-infrared sauna with these near-infrared heat lamps, which you can pick up at, listen to this, you can pick it up at Home Depot for just $10 US. That is amazing. Not only is that an amazing price, but if you want to buy a near-infrared sauna, 
adapter. It costs $5,000. If you want to buy a near-infrared sauna with near-infrared lights, it's going to cost five dollars to $10,000. But this biohack is just 15 bucks. You can buy one of them, you can buy four of them like we did, and you can set them up in a rig to just slide into your sauna. This setup right here only cost us 60 bucks. That is it, and we converted our sauna into a near-infrared sauna. Because it was a far-infrared sauna, it didn't have the light effects that are going to strengthen your mitochondria, and also near-infrared penetrates deeper and has better uh, health benefit and, and just better eff eff health effects overall. Because if it penetrates deeper, it's going to affect the mitochondria not just on the surface of the skin, but a little bit deeper. So you're gonna have much more benefits from that. And it's so amazingly affordable and it's so effective. So this is by far one of my, the favorite biohack that I have for my mitochondria that I use very frequently. And my new kitten loves it. This is the back of our setup. It's a series, simple wiring. If you'd like to do it yourself, here it is. How to boost your energy, biohack number three. Now you knew this was coming. Eat more blueberries. I'm a huge fan of blueberries, especially because I live in Canada here and they grow like wild. So I just love eating them on a, on a weekly basis or during the month uh, of blueberry season. I will just will pick every single week. And it's just such an amazing experience to have with the family. But the best part about blueberries, really, is that they boost blood flow to the brain because of their anthocyanin content. Now, they're extremely high in anthocyanins. And what's really interesting is people love this hack. I've been speaking for over five years around the globe, and I've been sharing so many amazing biohacks, including alpha brainwaves. And the one hack everyone seems to take away from my talks, and I'll get comments about this like years later, people will say, I've been eating blueberries every single day after your talk, Daniel. It's just so crazy how this is the one hack that I've got the most feedback about because it's so simple and so practical. It's amazing how the simplest things can oftentimes have the biggest impact. If you like this video, then definitely check out my new book, The Biology of Greatness, link in description. And I devoted a whole chapter to mitochondria and optimizing them in my new book. And also, like this video and subscribe and remember to follow me on Instagram.